Well, it's back to school for hundreds of thousands of WA children on Monday. For one school, though, 2015 has been that little bit tougher. Parents have been forced to go online to raise money to cover the cost of a crucial support service. Carson Street Primary School is close to the hearts of 70 children with special needs or disabilities. They come from all over Perth to be here. Children like 11-year-old Steve Green. He goes to school at Carson Street because he has an intellectual disability and is autistic. It's a godsend for his mother. She can't believe badly needed funding was taken away. It used to receive $20,000 a year for a school chaplaincy program. They've all got disabilities, many have associated medical problems. They all have issues with all aspects of daily living, whether it be communication, mobility, feeding, that we actually need the support. $20,000, the cost of a welfare officer there at the school two days a week to help the children. It was cut when the federal government handed responsibility for the school chaplaincy program to the WA government. Now the school has to find the money itself. As a PNC, we're not really in the business of funding staff, but we just felt so passionate about this. <laughs> Without the government backing, the school community was forced to step in, going online and turning to crowdfunding. It's raised $10,000 to provide a welfare officer one day a week, but there's no guarantee they will be able to continue fundraising the position past the end of the year. It does have an incredibly bad reflection on both the Barnett and Abbott government where a school providing services to kids with, in many cases, significant disabilities is having to resort to crowdfunding a very essential uh, employee role. Under the new funding arrangement negotiated by the federal and state governments, only chaplains can be employed under the program, not welfare officers. But the state government says Carson Street Primary School can employ its own welfare officer if it finds the funds from within its school budget. We have been let down. And it's not just as parents have been let down, but it's our children that have been let down. Oliver Peterson, Nine News.